Hey guys, it's Rob and the Lady Biker. Hey, out today, still riding this gorgeous heritage that I got from West Coast Motorcycle Hire and stopped in here at the Perth Harley Davidson. They had some parts that were needing for Cherry and Scarlet, so thought I would swing in. But you know, being out and riding around here in Western Australia, it's a little different riding on the opposite side of the road than what you learned on. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna head back out on the road and let's go talk about that. All right, well, hey guys, as I said, I am out for a ride. I am headed actually south of Perth to a town called Rockingham. Let me kind of show you here on a map. And thought that this would be a great chance since I'm out just riding to share what it feels like to ride on the opposite side of the road than what you are accustomed to. Now it's kind of hard to tell right now because of where I'm at and when you're like this, it doesn't feel that different. But over there to my right, not my left, is the oncoming traffic. Oh, I love the sound of this bike. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's, it's very, very different. And if you saw one of my previous videos about right, driving on the other side of the road, riding on the other side of the road is, in some ways it's easier and in some ways it's harder than driving. I know, that doesn't make sense. But let me see if I can share a couple of differences with you. So number one, you, I really have to think more about what I'm doing when I'm riding, not only because I'm riding and I'm not in a cage, but because everything on the bike is exactly what I'm used to. The indicators, the horn, the kill switch, the starter, the, well, okay, so maybe that is different because that's in kilometers, not in miles. But you get the concept, everything on this bike is the way I'm used to. So now trying to move over to the opposite side of the road though, I really have to keep in mind, because in, you know, us in the US, when we ride on the right side of the road, when in doubt, you, t you go right to get out of, you know, to hit, to get to the shoulder or whatever. It is the complete opposite here. So having so much of the bike be the same, trying to think about exactly where I am and what I'm doing and going left when I have issues, it's, it takes a little bit more thought. So that's, that's really different. All right, massive difference. And I did not think this was going to be a big difference, but merging into, okay, this is number two, merging into traffic when traffic is on my right instead of on my left. You know, I keep wanting to look over my left shoulder to, to see where traffic is coming from. And I look and there's nothing there. So I got to remember to look to the right. You know, it's, there's so many habits that as riders, when we are trying to learn to ride and we're trying to get comfortable with being on two wheels, there are just so many habits that are ingrained into us and we don't really realize it until we are forced to be in a different environment, how different things are. And all right, here's a question for midway through this. For those of you that ride both street and off-road, so whether you have a, a Harley and a street bike or whether you do dirt bikes or whether you have an ADV bike that can do both, do you find that switching from street to off-road, it, it takes you a little bit to kind of switch gears? Because I'm finding it, it took me a little bit of time to get used to, to being on this side of the road. Oh, okay, so those are two. Okay, sorry, loud truck. Those are two really, really big differences for me. Um, but really the kind of the third one is, 
Okay, guys, sorry, I'm back now. Uh, navigation started talking to me, and then I had to exit and merge back into traffic, and you know, it's all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, so, um, number three. Number three, that's a big change for me. And it, I, there again, this is one of those weird ones that I didn't anticipate it being a big deal, but it really is, is this lane here to my right is the passing lane. To me, I mean, my brain, I can't tell you how many times I've had a car going faster than me go right past, and I'm like, wait a minute, they're not supposed to be going faster than me? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, they really are, because that's the passing lane. Is everything being flip-flopped? There are often moments of just like, ooh, and you kind of have to take a deep breath and really realize where you are, what you're doing, Ooh, and I better slow down. I'm in an 80, not a 100. Um, so you really have to stop and think about where you are. And it really is crazy after having driven for so many years and having ridden so many hundreds, well, no, it's more like thousands of miles and kilometers to now flip everything. It really is taking a little bit of time, even though I'm more confident already, you, I still have to think about it. There's still no music in the car or in my headset right now. So anyway, guys, those are really kind of the three biggest things for me that if you're going to be riding on the opposite side of the road than what you are accustomed to, there are going to be some changes. But I think my biggest recommendation is Start with a bike that you're very familiar with, even if it's not your own. Start with one for like, you know, me, I normally ride a Road King or a Fat Boy. So having this heritage um, where I know where everything is, that's one less thing I'm having to think about as I am riding along. So it really does make a difference overall to have to not be having to think about additional things. So for those of you that have stuck with me to the end of this video, y'all are awesome and you know it. Thank you so much for your support and your engagement. Y'all are amazing. But I have a question for you. How many of you have traveled and ridden on the opposite side of the road than what you are accustomed to? And what were your thoughts or maybe what are some of your tips for making the transition? So anyway, guys, that's it for me. I am heading down to Rockingham. I'm going to find myself some lunch. Oh, I got a bike behind me. I don't know if you can see that in the mirror or not. Um, I'm going to grab myself some lunch and then I'm going to ride along the coast before I head back to the apartment and catch up with Allie for, uh, oh, oh, oh. Sorry, guys, I'm glad that he told me, but it seems my saddlebag is open, so I've got to exit and get it taken care of. So anyway, guys, get out and ride. Have fun. When you do, be safe, and I'm going to catch you on the next video. <laughs> Bye, everyone.